welcome to my newest weekly video all about the falcon. This was voted not only by some of my friends who follow me on Instagram and if you want to take part in votes you can follow me on Instagram at Amazing Albert Hemi, which it was originally made for my hamster. So, also, the falcon is my Canadian cousin's favourite animal. He is one of my best friends, and he has a YouTube channel too called Falcon Plays. He currently has 6 subscribers, I believe, so let's try to get him to 10 subscribers. So, Falcon Plays, capital F, capital P, and not an S for the play, it's a Z. F-A-L-C-O-N-P-L-A-Y-Z. He's my cousin. Noah. Noah, and he's from Canada. So, let's see now talking about other things. Let's get into the facts about his favourite animal. So this is called a falcon. It is a predatory bird or a raptor. And in Latin its name is falcon peregrinus or something. And that means wandering bird I think because it travels very long distances around the world. There is multiple species of falcon, including the prairie falcon, the black falcon, the sager falcon, and of course the speediest of them all, peregrine falcon, which is the one probably most of you have heard of. I made a joke on Instagram saying Barry Allen bird. If you don't know, Barry Allen is the name of the superhero. There's a superhero called The Flash. His name is Barry Allen. And the peregrine falcon um, actually eats pigeons, ducks, gulls, even bats, sometimes fish, rodents, and small birds like starlings. And they often swoop down and catch these prey. It's called a stoop. They fold in their wings close to their body and then they head down nose first or beak first towards their prey holding out their talons and they grab it and their talons and their beak are very sharp so that's why people who have a falconry hold leathery gloves so their talons don't uh, stab into their arm it would be really painful because these talons are made to really uh, grasp their prey to make sure they don't drop it and to make sure other passing falcons don't steal it because that often happens and sometimes they end up dropping it and neither of them gets it and you would be very surprised that falcons aren't actually related to any other predatory bird or also known as a raptor. They're actually more closely related to songbirds and parrots, which you wouldn't think it because they almost look like if pigeons suddenly got a boost and suddenly got new weapons, I guess, but they eat pigeons. So. I'm pretty surprised by that, that they actually don't have um, any relatives in the raptor family. They're more closely related to songbirds, which is one of the things they have to eat. And the peregrine falcon can go up to speeds of 390 kilometers per hour, which is, like, that's faster than a train. One of them really speedy trains in China. I think they're called bullet trains, and that's faster than one of them, so that's super fast. That's even faster than a cheetah, so they're very fast. You wouldn't win in a race against them. I don't think even the fighter jet could win against them in a race. And 
definitely not an octopus or you single. <laughs> they only go 25 kilometers per hour. As my cousin would say, he loves saying this, gas, gas, gas. If he is in the comments, he should comment gas, gas, gas. These birds are about 1.5 feet tall. So that's a, they're about the size of a crow, really. A bit, probably about the size of a large crow. So they're actually quite smaller than you'd actually think. You'd probably think maybe they're even the size of an eagle, but really they're quite small. I've seen one in real life. Not a peregrine falcon, but a species falcon, and they're actually quite small. Their wingspan is almost three times the size of their body. It's 3.5 feet long, which is very big for the size of their body. They're about 1.5 feet, but their wings are 3.5 feet, which is almost three times their uh, body size. And they're actually fastest animals. That's the peregrine though, not there are different speeds for the different species. The peregrine is the fastest out of them all. And the fastest out of all the creatures in the world. And they actually live 17 years. 17 years. Let's see. Let me just do this. If I, there isn't really much to see. Mm. Maybe there is. 17 years. That's decent. Yeah. That's a good lifespan for such a small bird. And they weigh 8.8 8 to 56.5 ounces. So between them two numbers, that's a very big difference. I don't think the researchers have really made up their mind yet. And they can live in almost anywhere. They can live like forests, a cold, wintry tundra, a hot, scorching desert, a big, busy city. They can live like normal kind of flat land. They can really live anywhere. There's even falcons that live in New York City. And they mainly eat the pigeons that live around there. And if you've ever been there, which I have, it's probably Pigeon York City instead of New York City. <laughs> Pigeon Haven and Falcon Haven because they get free food. And instead of building nests, they usually find a shallow dip in some rocks or they kind of scrape away some soil um, and some dirt to make a nest instead of building a nest, which most people will think all birds build nests and an eagle nest. You, a full grown man can fit in a bald eagle's nest. It's massive. So falcons don't build nests. They usually just make little small dip or a shallow little hole for them to lay their four eggs. They only lay four eggs. Sometimes between three and four eggs is how much they usually lay. And a baby falcon chick is called an ALAS. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's E-Y-L-A-S. Most people think it's a chick or something like that, but it's ALAS. ALAS. So, they actually catch their prey mid-air. They actually... When they're flying and they like and then they swoop down and they catch it in the air and just, they'd bring um, little ripped up pieces to their babies because of course their alas um, have much smaller mouths so they can't eat the full thing and they use their very sharp beaks as weapons to protect their food, or their nest, or their babies, or really anything. They have really sharp beaks. You don't want to get bitten by them. And they actually, 
unfortunately almost went extinct in North America. Some people hunt falcons. They are a game bird in some places. And they eat almost anything. If they're flying through the sky and they see anything, most likely they'll swoop down and get it if it's the right size for them to catch. Because if it's a person, they, they cannot eat a person. And their eyesight is amazing. It's like better than better. That's even proper. And they can see one mile ahead of them which is pretty far for such a small little bird. So I guess most people say like eagle eye vision. And something that not many people may have known, you can tell a bird is predatory or a prey bird, which prey bird is like the predatory birds eat the prey birds. Like the birds that are eaten by bigger animals, their prey. They, the prey birds have their eyes on the side of their heads on their, if we were uh, prey birds, we'd have our eyes on our temples, weird. And the predatory birds like the falcon or the eagle or the kestrel have their eyes on the front of their face. And you're about to see an image of what a difference of them. The males and females stay mates for life. They stick together forever like swans. And they, some animals, um, they, they, um, they have many mates during their life, but some animals have only one and they stick with them for their whole life. And luckily, luckily, this is and compared to other animals, this is quite lucky. There's 140,000 left in the wild, which is, I'm glad they aren't endangered. It would be such a shame to have the fastest animal in the world go extinct. And my cousin's favorite animal go extinct. They actually sleep just like many other birds. There's many other birds who sleep like this, they sleep on one leg and their head, their head resting on their back. Which is a pretty, I couldn't go to sleep in that position. And not in a, a dirty hole or a rock. And they're very silent most of the time. They don't make their screeching noise very often, especially when they're hunting because they don't want to alert their prey that, of their presence. Because of course, if the prey knew where they were there, of course, they'd run away. So, they're very silent when they're hunting to listen out for like a starling call. They could, they could hear a flock of starlings maybe, because they have quite good hearing. So, that's going to be it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week in my next video. I'll see you then. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.